Hello and welcome to the first tutorial on this main channel, Unity Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a FPS rigid body controller. In the end of the video, you can have a character that can look around with the mouse and also move around. So let's get started. First, let's add a 3D game object, capsule, which is, will be the base of the player. Now we need to add a camera that is attached to the player and this is for our main view to look around. Now let's add some components to the player. So first, let's add rigid body and also phrasing the rotation on the rigid body component. So now let's add some script. On the player object, let's add a movement script. So now this is where we're gonna add our functions to make our player move around. So let's add public float speed, which is gonna be equal to 500 and rigid body RB which is going to be our rigid body variable. On the start function, we want to grab the component of rigid body on our player. So let's type RB equals get component and rigid body. So now let's go to the function of moving the player. So let's put private void fix update, which you can put on the normal update if you want to. Uh, let's put some vector three variables, which is going to be two. The first one is vector three input equals to new vector three which is includes three parameters. The first parameter is we're gonna put input that get axis raw horizontal. And the second one is y axis. We don't need to put it, so zero F. And the third parameter is the z axis. So input that get axis raw vertical. So now for the second vector three variable, which is move, which is the variable to move around. So Vector three move equals the vector three dot normalize, which is we want our uh, directional movement to normalize it. So it only has one parameter: transform dot right times by the input of x plus transform dot forward times by input dot z, and that's all the thing we need. So now we're gonna make the rigid body move based on the vector three variables we put. So rb dot velocity equals to open and close parentheses move times by speed times by time that fix delta time and that's all we need for the movement script so now we play our game and as you can see we have our player to move around so now we can move around but we can't look so we're gonna do that now let's add some script to the camera which is the mouth look script you can name it whatever you want to let's do some coding for the mouse look script so first we're gonna add public float variable of mouse speed equals to 100 and a public transform variable player body and also we're gonna put float rotation x on the start function we want our cursor to lock and not have our cursor to move around while we're looking around in the game so we want our cursor to lock cursor dot lock state equals to cursor lock mode dot lock and that's the only thing we need so on the void fix update we want to put float mouse x equals to input that I get axis of mouse x times by mouse speed times by time that fix delta time. You will also do this to mouse y, which you need to replace the mouse y, and that's it. And now we're gonna put rotation x minus equals to mouse y. Uh, we're gonna put rotation x equals to math f to dot clamp with open and close parentheses with rotation x and then two parameters uh, negative 80 to 80. So what this saying is we want to clap our limitation of viewing. So if we want to look up, we don't want our player to look all the way up until it's looking upside down. So we want to clamp that and make it limited. So we're gonna put it negative 80 and 80. So that way if we, look, if we look all the way up, it will clamp that to negative 80. So it goes down to looking down with 80 degrees. Now we're gonna put transform that local rotation equals to quaternion that Euler open and close parentheses with rotation x and the two parameters by leaving to zero and next is we want our player body or the play object itself to move around on the rotation of x so we're gonna put player body dot rotate with the vector 3 dot up and mouse x and that's all we need for the mouse look script so now if we save it and open up the game now we can look around perfectly and as you can see, if we look all the way up, it clamps that to negative 80. And if we look all the way down, it clamps that to 80 degrees. 
So that's gonna be it for this video. Just will be there will be more tutorials like this in the future if I have some ideas of what tutorials should I do. You can also suggest one in the comments section down below. So I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.